Well, hello there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad you could, uh, make it. We are about to embark on a journey, a voyage, if you will, back through the mists of time. We're talking millions of years here, a world so profoundly different, so primal. Today, we're going to be counting down, yes, a countdown of the most renowned, the most, uh, spectacular dinosaurs to have ever graced this little blue marble we call Earth. It's a list of titans, of legends, a veritable who's who of the Mesozoic era. Now how does one even begin to rank such magnificent creatures? Chaos theory? No, no, not quite. Our list, you see, is a delicate cocktail, a blend of paleontological significance, the real hard science of it all, and their, shall we say, cultural impact, their Q rating, and of course their distinctive features, the things that make you go, wow, we've considered everything from fossil records to, well, to their star power on the silver screen. It's a complex system, a beautiful system, but life, uh, finds a way to be categorized. So get comfortable. Some of these giants you'll recognize instantly, bona fide movie stars with their own theme music, practically. Others are perhaps a bit more obscure, scientific legends whispered about in the hallowed halls of museums, but no less awe-inspiring. They are all part of this grand, chaotic, beautiful story of life on our planet, and we're about to dive right in. The past is calling, and believe me, you'll want to answer. Kicking off our list at number 10, we have a creature of, uh, pure, unadulterated ferocity. A predator built for speed. I'm talking about Carnotaurus. The name itself, it just, it rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Meat-eating bull. And for good reason. Look at those horns jutting out from above its eyes. So distinctive, so devilish. What were they for? Display? Combat? We can only speculate, which is, you know, half the fun of this whole endeavor. This was not a lumbering beast. This was the cheetah of its time, a sprinter designed for the chase, a blur of teeth and muscle on the Cretaceous plains. Imagine it, the ground trembling not from weight, but from the sheer velocity of this thing, its ridiculously tiny arms almost a, an evolutionary punchline were a stark contrast to its powerful legs and formidable skull. It starred in that, uh, that Disney movie, didn't it? A terrifying antagonist, and rightly so. The fossils tell us a story of a uniquely adapted hunter, a creature that carved out its own niche in a world already teeming with giants. Carnotaurus reminds us that nature's creativity, its sheer, uh, inventive genius, is boundless a truly spectacular opening act. Ah, number 9. Before the tyrant king took the throne, there was another sheriff in town, meet Allosaurus. This was the apex predator of the late Jurassic period, a creature of nightmare and frankly of elegant lethality. It wasn't just predator, it was predator of its ecosystem, larger than, say, a modern grizzly bear, but with a disposition that makes a grizzly look like a, a teddy bear. Its name means different lizard, and it was certainly different lighter and more agile than its later Cretaceous cousin. It was a hunter that relied on speed and ambush. Its most terrifying feature? Those teeth. Not designed for crushing bone, oh no. They were serrated, like steak knives designed to slice through flesh to inflict deep bleeding wounds. Allosaurus would have been a pack hunter perhaps, a coordinated nightmare for the gentle giants of its era, like Stegosaurus. We have the fossils, the evidence of these epic battles, these primal struggles for survival. It was a perfectly tuned killing machine, a testament to the relentless, beautiful and terrifying pressures of evolution. A true Jurassic classic. Coming in at number 8, we have a dinosaur that's less about the, uh, the teeth and claws and more about the music, the sound, Parasaurolophus. Just look at that magnificent crest that long hollow tube sweeping back from its skull. It's not just for show, not just a, a Mesozoic fashion statement. This was a biological instrument, a trombone if you will. Scientists believe it used this crest to produce deep resonant sounds, calls that would echo across the ancient forests and floodplains, a form of communication, a way to warn of danger, to call to a mate, to keep the herd together. Imagine the symphony of a herd of Parasaurolophus, the low frequency hums and calls, a language we can only begin to decipher. It's a beautiful thought, isn't it? That these creatures had a complex social structure, a way of talking to one another over vast distances. It changes how you see them. They weren't just big lizards, they were a community. This crest, a marvel of natural engineering, makes Parasaurolophus one of the most intriguing and dare I say soulful dinosaurs on our list. It's a reminder that survival isn't always about being the strongest but sometimes about being heard. 
At number 7 we look up, way way up. To the gentle giant, the skyscraper of the Jurassic Brachiosaurus. This creature is pure unadulterated awe. Its name means arm lizard, a nod to its front legs being longer than its hind legs, giving it that distinctive giraffe-like posture. This wasn't a dinosaur that grazed on ferns, it was a treetop browser, reaching heights no other contemporary could. It was a living, breathing testament to the sheer scale that life can achieve. Its appearance in, uh, in that movie, it was a moment of pure magic, wasn't it? The first time we truly saw a dinosaur, not as a monster, but as a majestic, living animal. That moment captured the essence of Brachiosaurus. It wasn't a predator, it wasn't armored for battle, it was simply magnificent, a peaceful herbivore of immense proportions moving with a slow, ponderous grace. Its sheer size was its defense. What predator would dare take on something so colossal? It represents a sense of wonder, a connection to the grand, peaceful rhythms of the natural world. It reminds us that for all the terror and conflict of the prehistoric world, there was also tranquility and breathtaking beauty. Number 6 on our list is the very definition of a defensive powerhouse. I give you Ankylosaurus, the living tank. This creature was built to withstand anything. Covered from its eyelids to the tip of its tail in thick bony plates, osteoderms, the scientists call them, it was a walking fortress. It was low to the ground, impossibly wide, and almost impervious to attack. An Allosaurus or a T-Rex might as well have tried to bite through a boulder. It's a masterclass in defensive evolution, a creature that simply decided, no, you will not eat me today. And if the armor wasn't enough, just look at that tail. That is not just a tail, it is a weapon of mass destruction. A massive club of solid bone, capable of swinging with enough force to shatter the leg bones of any would-be attacker. It was the ultimate deterrent. You see an Ankylosaurus, you turn around, and you walk away. It's a powerful symbol of resilience and strength, a quiet, heavily defended herbivore that commanded respect through sheer unassailable toughness, a true survivor. Halfway through our list at number 5 we encounter one of the most recognizable and frankly weirdest dinosaurs of all time, Stegosaurus. You know it the instant you see it, that iconic double row of large kite-shaped plates running down its back, and the fearsome spike tail, the, uh, Thagomizer, as it's affectionately known. This dinosaur is an enigma, a beautiful walking puzzle. Those plates, what were they for, defense? They seem too fragile. Mating display, perhaps? Thermoregulation? A popular theory that they acted as giant radiators to cool the animal down. The debate still rages in paleontological circles which makes Stegosaurus endlessly fascinating. It's a creature that keeps its secrets. And while its brain was famously, uh, famously small, about the size of a walnut, it was clearly successful enough to thrive for millions of years. That spiked tail, however, was no mystery. We have the fossil evidence, a punctured Allosaurus vertebra that perfectly matches a Stegosaurus tail spike. It was a formidable weapon, a deadly counterpoint to its placid, herbivorous lifestyle, a true icon of the Jurassic landscape. Now for number 4 we have a dinosaur that has completely rewritten the rulebook in recent years, Spinosaurus. For a long time it was known mostly from, uh, from fragments, a giant predator with a mysterious enormous sail on its back, taller than T-Rex, longer than T-Rex, but recent discoveries have revealed something truly astonishing. This wasn't just a land-based predator, this was a river demon, a semi-aquatic hunter, the first one we know of. It was more crocodile than dinosaur in its habits, a creature perfectly adapted to a life in and out of the water. Its conical teeth were perfect for snagging slippery fish, its flat paddle-like tail was built for propulsion through water, its dense bones would have helped with buoyancy control like a modern penguin. This creature was a specialist, a master of the ancient river systems of North Africa. The sail itself remains a mystery, display, communication, maybe even a keel for stability in the water. Spinosaurus shows us that our understanding of these animals is constantly evolving, that there are always new, incredible discoveries waiting just beneath the surface. Life uh, finds a way into every possible niche. Well, ah, number three. A name that strikes fear and fascination in equal measure, largely thanks to, well, Hollywood. Velociraptor. The movie version, a six-foot-tall, scaly, hyper-intelligent pack hunter, is a cinematic masterpiece of monster-making, an unforgettable villain. 
But the real Velociraptor, the one from the fossil record, is just as fascinating though, uh, a little different. It was smaller, for one, about the size of a turkey, and it was covered not in scales but in feathers. A feathered predator, a far cry from the reptilian terror on screen. But don't let the size or the feathers fool you. This was still a formidable hunter. It had that signature weapon, a large sickle-shaped claw on each foot, held retracted while it walked, ready to be deployed. It was likely quick, agile, and yes, very intelligent for a dinosaur. The pop culture icon may be a fiction, but it introduced the world to the dromaeosaurs, this incredible family of bird-like dinosaurs, and sparked our imagination about the intelligence and social behavior of these animals. It's a perfect example of science and fiction creating a legend together. Our runner-up at number two is the perfect foil to our eventual king, the immovable object to the unstoppable force, Triceratops, the three-horned face, there is something so noble, so resolute about this animal, that massive bony frill protecting its neck, and those three formidable horns, two long ones over the brow, one shorter one on the nose. This was not a creature to be trifled with. It's the dinosaur we always imagine locked in an epic struggle with T-Rex, a clash of titans that likely played out for real on the plains of late Cretaceous North America. The frill is a masterpiece. Was it purely for defense, a shield, or was it also for display, a vibrant, colorful billboard to attract mates and intimidate rivals? Probably a bit of both. Nature is, uh, efficient like that. We have found vast bone beds of Triceratops suggesting they lived in large herds, a moving wall of horns and shields. It's a symbol of powerful, defiant defense. It's not just a famous dinosaur, it's a character, a stoic hero in the grand prehistoric drama forever standing its ground. And here we are, number one, was there ever any doubt? The undisputed king, the tyrant lizard, the apex of the apex predators, Tyrannosaurus rex. This is more than a dinosaur, it is a cultural icon, a monster of our collective dreams and nightmares. Everything about it is superlative. The sheer size, the immense power, the reputation. Its skull, nearly five feet long, was basically a delivery system for the most powerful bite force of any terrestrial animal that has ever lived. It didn't just bite, it shattered bone. For all the jokes about its tiny arms, T-Rex was the ultimate evolutionary achievement in large-scale predation. Its senses were incredibly keen. Evidence suggests a powerful sense of smell and binocular vision better than a hawk's. It was both a hunter and a scavenger, a dominant force that shaped its entire ecosystem. It has lorded over our imaginations ever since its discovery, and its starring role in, uh, in that certain film franchise cemented its status as the greatest dinosaur of all time. It is terror, it is majesty, it is the king. And there you have it. From the horned bull to the tyrant king, a whirlwind tour through 65 million years of magnificence. What a list. What a world. These creatures, these beautiful, terrifying, spectacular animals, they challenge us. They expand our sense of time, our sense of what's possible for life to achieve. Each fossil is a word, each skeleton a sentence in the epic story of our planet, a story that we are, unbelievably, a part of. The world is a very, very different place now, but the echoes of their footsteps, they, uh, they remain. But this is just our list, our interpretation of the data, of the, uh, the cultural zeitgeist. What about you? Who is your favorite? Did we miss a contender? Perhaps the giant Argentinosaurus or the clever Trudon? The prehistoric world is vast, filled with countless wonders. So, head down to the comments, let us know your thoughts, start a conversation. Debate is good, chaos is good. It's how we learn, how we grow. The conversation doesn't end when the video does. Thank you truly for joining me, for joining us on this little jaunt into the deep past. It's been a pleasure and a privilege. If you enjoyed this journey and want to explore more of life's uh, grand chaotic history, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that little bell icon. There's always another fossil to unearth, another mystery to solve. Until next time, stay curious.